okay so let's get back to our model uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a material to everything and you're obviously gonna see what I'm doing and I'm gonna hit one single render uh, and then we're gonna check uh, on everything and we're gonna correct it instead of making for example editing this material and making a render waiting for it to finish and then correcting the material and then once we have this material finished uh, editing the wood no 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 we're not gonna do that we're gonna edit all the materials at once and we're gonna hit one single render and in the end uh, I'm gonna change the settings and we're gonna get our final render of course after we had uh, corrected all of the materials so I'm gonna start with this uh, metal columns so this is going to be like this if I hit the B button on my keyboard, I bring the material, uh, this little material window. And if I hold the Alt key on my keyboard, and at the same time uh, click on each material, I select uh, the material that I just clicked on. For example, I'm going to hold the Alt key, and you see how uh, my cursor changes. And I'm gonna click here, and you can see that I selected this material. The same thing goes for the frame, and the same thing goes for this textile uh, map. Look at this, I just applied uh, some kind of asphalt here, and I'm not going to edit it. I didn't edit it at the render, and I don't know, it was just something I forgot, but I'm running uh, against time. So uh, I selected this color C25, and I am gonna bring my material editor here as I selected this material uh, it's already pre-selected so all I have to do is hit on the preview button of course this is just going to be a diffuse layer uh, it's a brown layer and I want to have a little uh, bit of reflection so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a new reflectivity map a new reflection map uh, layer I'm sorry and we're gonna change this from known to uh, Fresnel, where is it? Here it is. I'm gonna leave this like this, and I'm gonna change this up to 0.65. Uh, you see, this is about uh, making a lot of tests. In this case, uh, I have been making renders for like uh, five years, so I already know some of the settings that I want. But uh, we have this uh, terrific uh, material preview, and all we have to do is. Uh, play with the settings and hit the preview until we have the setting that we have that we are looking for so we're gonna change this uh, up to 65 and I don't know perhaps it's not going to be uh, good enough but uh, I don't care about that we'll correct it we have time for that so I'm gonna change the subdivisions to I'm sorry reduce a little bit the noise so what else do I want to edit okay I want to edit this wood because the wood is one of the most important uh, uh, characters of my render. So I'm gonna hit uh, the Alt key again. I'm gonna select the material. I'm gonna bring the material editor. I'm gonna create a new reflection layer on top of the of the diffuse. I'm gonna change the Fresnel mode and the known uh, to Fresnel mode. And where is it? Fresnel. I'm gonna hit OK, and then. Uh, as this is one of the textures that I downloaded from Arrowway Textures, I'm going to import the maps. So I'm going to change instead of uh, known for bitmap, and I'm going to select the map that I want. So my material is here at wood, and I have the three maps that the material uh, comes with. Uh, this is the diffuse layer, the one that I applied uh, directly on the SketchUp. This is the reflectivity layer, the, reflect the reflectivity map, I'm sorry, and this is the bump map. I'm applying the reflectivity one map. And, okay, the same thing goes for here, the same layer. I mean, uh, this is what I do. Uh, I might have mistakes. Uh, if you guys uh, notice that I'm doing something wrong, please let it, let me know and I'll correct it. I'll upload the video again. Um, and also if you want, uh, you have doubts, uh, I speak Spanish. I'm actually making this because I want to share with as many people as I can. But uh, if you guys really uh, have any doubts, uh, let me know. Look for me at the forum and we'll see what we can do. I mean, I'm open to 
uh, doubts and opinions and everything. But just remember that this is a sort of a social service. I'm not getting paid for this, okay? I'm just gonna leave this like this. I'm gonna uh, turn on this uh, bump checkbox and I'm going to import a bitmap, which is the map of the bump, of course. And again, I'm going to maps and in the wood material, I'm selecting the bump map and well the map uh, the texture probably said that it uh, wants to be with something like um, point, uh, zero 0.05 or something like that but uh, I always use this kind of values this is 20% uh, of the wood uh, so I'm just gonna leave it like this and Let's go to another material, uh, for example, the wood, the floor, I'm sorry. I'm going to select it, again, bring the material editor on, create a new layer, a new reflection layer. I'm going to change this to Fresnel, okay, and I'm going to change this up to something like, like, let me see what we have. Um, this is uh, pretty basic and there's a lot of tutorials of this too so again I'm just showing you this uh, but you have to study you have to see you have to understand why I'm uh, putting this uh, mode and why I am uh, selecting the Fresnel mode for example so uh, the wood also the other wood which is here I'm gonna select it I'm gonna uh, create a new layer, reflection layer, and I'm gonna set to something like, let me see, okay, okay, and the glossiness um, to something like 0.8 maybe, and 0.85, because I want it to be reflective enough. Okay, and also have this uh, little thing here and for this I have maps too so what I'm going to do is I will go to uh, create a new layer reflection layer again you see this is all the same this is pretty quick so again change this to Fresnel mode okay okay and um, I'm gonna apply the maps I already made this one so I kind of know what I <laughs> I'm looking for uh, but you can just copy my my settings materials and wall to I believe this was the one you see uh, I downloaded this from this other software uh, that I just mentioned and I'm gonna apply this one so okay okay and here goes for the same thing uh, I'm gonna change this to Fresnel, what is Fresnel? okay okay and oh, sorry sorry my mistake and now I'm going to uh, bring these things a little bit down because I don't want it to be so intense okay maybe a little bit more uh, and now I'm also gonna apply my bump uh, in these cases I like to to hit the preview button before I I, I enable the checkbox of the bump because that way I get to see the material so it's pretty good for now okay I'm just gonna apply the bump map and where's bitmap and I just have to select the map materials mat and wall 2 and the bump one and again I always had it set these things to something like point two you know what uh, the other material I just saw that but maybe I shouldn't use so much bump so I'm going to uh, select it and decrease a little bit the bump mm -hmm. I'm gonna change this 
maybe 0.1 because I don't want to have to make so many corrections okay and also what do we have well we have these uh, simple color materials I don't know if I shall edit the wall the apples I'm sorry but I'm gonna do it as fast as I can let me see how am I with the time Jesus gotta stop it 